Hey, how's it going everybody? Um, welcome to this update video for how to play Skyward Sword um, in Dolphin without using motion controls, using a controller like the PS4 controller or a different type of controller. So, just wanted to show you guys I have beaten the game. This is my update. I will make an update video explaining my experience uh, at some point. Um, but as of right now, I just wanted to give you guys my tweaks um, that I did to make this game run. So, um, without further ado, let me show you what I did. So, I'm back here. This is uh, the end of the game. No spoils. I will not give you any spoils with this update, other than I beat the game. So, one thing I did change from my first video is the A button. I mapped the A button originally to the X button, and I've also additionally mapped it to the R1 button, and I'll explain this in a second. Um, I changed the B button from just being in the square button to also be mapped to the L1 button. So what this does, and now I'm going to explain why I've got the L1 as B and then R1 as A, and that is so that you can free up your right thumb in order to um, aim. So with the B button, when you go to select your items, you need to use your right thumbstick in order to choose which item you're going to select. You can't do that easily when your, you know, your right thumb is pressing a button. So that's the reason for the B button being on your left hand on the L1 button. Now, for the A button, for me to launch this beetle, for example, um, I could press A, but then again, what if the thing I need to get to is all the way up there? Well, if I just press up, well, it works for the beetle just fine. Let me give you another example with the bow. So let's say the thing I need to shoot, let's say it's uh, this volcano type deal that is by where I'm trying to point. Also right now I want to point out I am using a wobbly controller. So as you can see, nothing is going straight. Right now I'm not using the control stick at all and yet it's wobbling around. But anyway, so, you know, I press the L1 button to pull out my bow. And if I was going to press A, I'm not going to be able to reach, you know, use the control stick, the, the right control stick to aim up at the volcano. So, I'm mean, going to have to, you know, put the A button onto the R1 button so that I can aim it with my right control stick. And right now it's kind of showing you a bad time right now because of how difficult it is to use a controller that has the wobbles. And you can say, oh yeah, you can adjust things. Well, let me show you uh, essentially what my configuration is. And there you go. There you can see Dolphin 5.0. Go to Options. Go to Controller Settings. We want to go down to Wii Remotes. We don't care about GameCube controllers. Wiimotes. So emulated Wiimote. Configure. So... This is what you'll need to do in order to put two buttons attached to it, an output. So for example, to make an output of the A button, you, you're going to right click the, um, you know, where it has button one, for example. So you can go ahead and uh, make that your button one, which is the X button. And then what I do is I just highlight this, oops, highlight this, and do copy or control and C. And then this character right in between here, that is the the line that is that key that's above the enter key. I don't know what the name is of that, but you know that's what it is. And then you will after that just do Control V, and then that is how you'll paste. You know, it's kind of just the formatting for the button. Erase the one, put it in the five. So essentially, you know, you can play around with what buttons go where. Um, so for example. If you don't know what button one is, go ahead and try it on your controller, what feels right. So anyway, button one, button five, button four and button zero. So that's where we go with the square button as well as the L1 button. So that's what the A and B button is. Button one, so that is the circle button. That's what button two is, I should say. Button two, that's, that's circle. And so what that does, it just brings up your collection, the items that you've collected throughout the game. And then button two output is uh, how you skipped cutscenes and also just 
like little help advice that comes with the game. Um, that will, I mapped that to the PS4 controller's um, touchscreen or touchpad. So you will you know click that there. The minus and the plus that's the share and the option buttons, and the home button is the PS button. The D-pad is everything that you thought it was before, the up, down, left, and right from the D-pad. Um, the extension, make sure it says nunchuck. If it doesn't have nunchuck, then none of this will work for you. You won't have a, you know, a, you won't be able to run around. You won't be able to use this game. Also make sure Motion Plus is checked because you need Motion Plus in order to play this game. You won't be able to get this far without it. Um, Make sure your battery, you can make that literally anything except do not make it like 5% or else every time you turn on the game, Fee will tell you that your batteries are low. Okay, um, so what I would do here, I'm going to make this screen bigger. I probably should have done that to begin with. Really quick, if you need to pause and ape everything that I've put in here, go ahead and take a second. And then, um, you know, just resume the video. So for this, and I recommend just copy everything that I have. Just trust me. Um, if there is anything that says button if, like a formula, don't worry about it. Just go off of what the buttons say here. Um, I'm actually just working with some other ideas on how to make this game feel more like um, the other Zelda games that don't require motion controls. But, yeah. So the shake, this is a... You know, the vertical, horizontal, and, you know, three-dimensional shakes. So with the X, go with button 11. And button 11, I believe, is... Oh, man. Um, that is the right click. The right thumbstick click. And then the button 0 is the A button. So, I don't know, I must have been working with something there. But just make button 11, 11 and then zero. Then the dead zone, make it zero. Intensity, 50 centimeters. And frequency, nine hertz. Okay, the point, that is like, you know, how you'd point your Wiimote at the screen. So that's going to be your left control stick. And so that's going to be up on your le left control stick. And I also attached the third button on there, but don't worry about that. You don't need that. Um, try it. Actually, try it. I'm a liar. <laughs> um, you're going to need it, and I'm going to explain why in just a second. Um, so, yeah, you're going to make it your up on your control stick as well as your triangle button. Once again, using kind of what I showed you before. And then down is just down, left is left, right is right. Um, keep hide blank. Recenter is the, um, the button 10, which is the left click. And then Make your dead zone zero, vertical offset zero, total yaw 25 degrees, total pitch 19 degrees. Your tilt, um, that's also going to be your left control stick. This is one of my tweaks that I did, by the way, from my original video. And this is going to help you, first of all, do the skyward strike, as well as make it so you can fly with the bird. Um, the loft wing, I should say. Um, so that you will make the backward motion. Make that be the triangle button. So essentially when you hold that button when you're playing a game is how you do your skyward strike. It makes it super easy. So that works in tandem with your point of up. So if you see that there. Also, the left uh, thing there in tilt, make it so you it's your left control stick to the left, and then right is to the right. You don't need to do anything with button zero there. That was just me trying to try something out. Dead zone, 0%. Angle is 85% and velocity is 7 hertz. And then with swing. Now swing, this is where, you know, it's kind of explaining if you have a wobbly controller, you're going to have a bad time. Um, people would say, yeah, you can increase your dead zone, but that changes your um, sensitivity of your swing. So I just don't recommend that at all. Just get yourself a good controller. Um, but as it is right now, I did make it somewhat work with a wobbly controller. Um, to where you don't have extra slashes and other extra things. So, that being said, though, with your swing, your up button is going to be your right control stick up. Your down is going to be your down control stick down. Uh, your right control stick down, I should say. Your left will be, obviously, to the left and to the right. And then forward button, that is going to be your stab. That's how you stab in the game. And I map that to button 11, which is your right click. 
Now, uh, make the dead zone 9%. Don't make it higher. Don't make it less. Just leave it at 9%. That's a sweet spot. Obviously, uh, you know, if you want to mess with it, go ahead. Be my guest. But 9% is how I got this to work for me the best. Um, distance, 3 centimeters. Speed, 40 meters per second. Return speed, 1 meters per second. Then angle is 90 degrees. Um, with motion input, don't change any of these settings with the accelerometer or the gyroscope. Leave those all as they are. Um, but do change this recenter button to button 10, which is the left click. So that just kind of resets, um, you know, if pointer starts going astray or something like that. Okay, the nunchuck is, um, that's going to be your left control stick as well. And that's just up, down, left, and right with a dead zone of 9% is what I left there, so it didn't move on its own. The C buttons, so button 10, once again, the C button, that is the left click. And then the Z button, that is the L trigger. So L2 button. All right, and moving on, the extension motion simulation, that is gonna be button seven, which that is the right trigger. Um, you don't have to put anything for the Y or Z. Um, I was messing with something with my, my keyboard and mouse. Um, but yeah, dead zone 0%, intensity negative 10 centimeters, frequency 6 hertz. So it should look like that when you press the R trigger. The tilt, just the only thing you need to change is the forward button. And that just tilts it forward with the R2 button, the R8 trigger. And swing, once again the trigger, the right trigger. And essentially what that is all doing for you, oh, one more thing, change the up on the extension motion input. Make the up and the forward be the only two things that you change in this. And have that be button seven, which is once again, the right trigger. So what that is all doing for you with the right trigger is making so you can roll, you can pull out your shield and kind of shield bash to block attacks, but also, um, using if you move the control the right control stick with the r2 being held down then you'll be able to do a finishing move so when you're fighting an enemy knock them down um, it'll have an icon at the bottom of your screen up here where um, the it, it wants you to shake both the 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 wiimote as well as the nunchuck well that's what this would do so once again to do that would be the right trigger moving it around with any direction of the right control stick. But yeah, so those are all of the controls there. What you do after you type all that in, make sure to make a profile and then hit save. And when that's all done, you can go back to your game. It's been a bit since I got on. So it's got to reconfigure. By the way, this should be this should be able to do it on its own that you know think that your controller is lying on a flat surface you shouldn't have to have any problem if you have a wobble you're gonna have a bad time with this game but yeah so that is all of it you know you can roll with the r button once you hold in the a button um the you know pull the b button with your l1 shoot with your r1 or cancel it with the b button again douse with the left click and look around using the right stick. Fly around using the left control stick uh, when you're on a bird. And yeah, that is how I beat this game. Um, like I said, though, I will do a video explaining my experience with it, things I warn about. Um, it will be spoiler free, so definitely jump over when that is made. Um, and if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. I like hearing from you guys. and. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It helps me out. But also lets me know that you guys are interested in seeing more of these motion control uh, fixes, whether to play without motion control or, you know, just a quality of life thing for either this game or a different Wii game. If you have ideas, too, for other Wii games that you want to see made without motion controls, let me know in the comments below as well. And uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and we'll see you later in a different one.